Welcome to Dick's Sporting Goods Park, where this afternoon it's the Colorado Rapids against Seattle Sounders. The Colorado snow has eased, at least for the time being, and we are in spring sunshine. Rocker is in. You can see up front, Atiba Harris is now alongside Danny Mwanga because during the warm-up, we understand Edson Buddle picked up an injury, and I think, Chella, you noticed he wasn't moving that freely. Let's look at Seattle Sounders, and there we have Obifemi Martins in for... Uh, well, Eddie Johnson has not made the trip, so uh, he is not in the starting 11, but still a very experienced... From right to left in their burgundy jersey, it'll be Dylan Powers and Nick LeBrocker starting proceedings here. Back to Henry Thomas in some space going long to the heart of the Sounders' defence, Major League Soccer. Cassio picks up the pieces there. Not the greatest of ball. He's never going to find a Tiba Harris there. LeBrocker back to Powers. Powers to Thomas. Thomas is having a look. He's going to have a go. Maybe not too many options, but uh, a couple of players suggesting that uh, there were. He's very ambitious. Yadlin to Joseph. Took his eye off that seemingly. Not megged him. Back to Evans. Yedlin on this near side over halfway. Attacking the space, Rapids are backing off. Cross to Zakharani, back to Joseph, he's, he's going to have a go. He's palmed out, but is it finished? It's not, it's finished by Obafemi Martins. Clint Irwin can only palm it out into the path of the Sounders. And Obafemi Martins, after 27 minutes, has opened the scoring for the visitors. Colorado Rapids nil, Seattle Sounders one. Wow, what a great layoff. Zachary does a nice job. Sorry, Joseph rips it. And you know, Martins does a great job. He shows a little fake with his left foot. You know, I'm, I'm looking at this. Irwin's probably going to want this one back. He knows this should have been pushed to the silo, but he pushed it right back into traffic, right where Zachary was. He gets it right where Martin was. Martin gets it nice and easy, scores his first goal in Major League Soccer. Zachary. Field. Evans now, green shirts piling forward, Martins is uh, asking for it, Clute is going to have to do some work here, there he goes, gets away and it's hit the bar with Clint Irwin beaten, and the Sounders have their tails up here, they lead by a goal, and that could very well have been two. Some of the busiest guys at the Rapids are the, uh, the physios and the medical men. See them in practice now, they get a little twitchy. Anybody goes down or just seems to flinch there, racing across there. Thomas to Mwanga. Not a great deal of space. Kamani Hill does well to find Mwanga there, who's wriggling one way and another. Dylan Powers, can he get one on his left foot? Can he get a shot away just wide? And I say just wide of the mark. Yeah. First of all, what a great spin. He gets this ball, and watch this turn right here. He turns, he sets up the shot, goes to that near post. Sperling just looks, and he's looking at that post. He's not sure if it's going in or out. to pick it up. <laughs> That's uh, Deshaun Brown's problem. Picked up in practice yesterday. Thanks, Julie. So, yes, Marvel Wynn is uh, just sat down in front of us on the bench. And will take no further part. Brian Mullen looking for a tee, but Harris! Scrambled across goal from the spawning, but what a great delivery from Brian Mullen and Atiba Harris just couldn't quite find the back of the net. Yeah, it's a great little play by Brian Mullen. He folds his ball to the far post. Atiba Harris gets up. Spawning doesn't know what to do. Mawang has got to do better than that. That's just too easy right there in front of the goal. Alex Kasky is the man who's about to come on. Cassio away from Traore, who's all over him, and surely the referee's going to have to spot that, and indeed he does, and we might just see a, a yellow card here. And Traore goes in the book. Wow. Smart play by Traore, because if not, Casio was gone. Casio had great positioning. Looking for some movement, not a great ball. That was uh, Henry Thomas. 
absolutely wincing here in the, in the booth. And a chance for Nagel, and that's a great save from Clint Irwin away to his left-hand side. But again, you look in the centre of the park, a simple short pass given away, and the Rapids under pressure. And Nagel does a nice job. Look at his quick move and a shot. Irwin does a nice job, just pushes that one away. But look how quick it is. Inside, boom, inside. Yep. Great touch, great touch by Irwin to push it out for a corner. Drew Moore had a look there. As, uh, Tiva Harris is making a run. Kamani Hill does find Harris. The ball back to Hill. Awanga holding the line. Jamie Smith's coming inside. Kamani Hill's going alone. Can he get a shot in? Mwanga! Oh, no! Just inches away. Just inches away. Danny Mwanga. And that surely would have been one apiece. Great play by Kamani Hill getting inside. He beats everybody and he does. He's got a great ball at a diagonal. Just can't get in there. But everything you want. The ball going across the six. Look at Mawanga. Just can't. Just can't reach that ball. But everything you want. Finally, somebody with a little bit of penetration on the Seattle's back line. Kamani Hill gets in. He drags two or three. He crosses it. Just couldn't reach Mawanga. Testing a few more seconds. The referee. So. Absolutely spot on with that one. The Romanian born Canadian referee, Petrescu. This is a very decent ball in, and it's hit the post! What have they got to do? Kamani Hill has struck the post, and the sound has survived. Two and a half minutes to go in stoppage time. And the fans on their feet. Urging some late drama here. The heads go up. Oh, and it's just into the arms of this morning. I think that was Drew Moore that got on the end of that. Yeah, that's a great ball. Watch Drew Moore right in the middle of your screen. He gets up. Just right there. Gishporning is right there. Everything you want. He gets up. He snaps. He puts it on target. But Gishporning is right there, right into his hands. So we've hit the four minutes. An additional time, the referee has got his whistle in his mouth, and there is the final whistle. As Siggy Schmidt hugs his assistant and those on the bench as the Sounders have ended that unbeaten start of the season.